Hey, what's going on guys? Rick with Rick's Toy Room. I am going to do two videos today. One is going to be for the general audience. Uh, it is going to be a mail call video. That is this one here. And then I'm going to go do a separate video that is going to be completely offensive. It is going to be 100% adult rated and it is going to be me losing my mind about uh, a recent collector that I ran into on Facebook and the people like him. So if you're in for a good laugh slash complain fest and some R-ratedness, maybe even X-rated, check out my second video later on today. But for now, uh, let's talk about uh, first off mail call, this week's finds and uh, notices. So today is the official start date of the buy 20 mail-in for uh, Target. I will have the link in the description with the car that is uh, coming out. This is number four of the six for the year which means uh, we still have another Kroger one probably to drop. And the, um, normally it's like two Krogers, Target. Best Buy's not doing one this year. So far this year it was Walmart, Target, Kroger, Family Dollar, and Dollar Tree. And then it's probably gonna go back and either be another Dollar Tree Family Dollar or it might actually be a, um, a Dollar General. I don't know. Could be, I said, or it could be Kroger. We haven't seen a Kroger yet this year. So maybe Kroger's doing, uh, doing a later one. But that is the latest. That starts August 25th, runs through, I believe, end of September. So go out, hit your targets. Honestly, none of my targets have put the new uh, bin out. None of my targets have dropped any new cars. Uh, they all had a stack of like 2023 cases and just miscellaneous loose repacks that they have uh, dropped at their stores. So I think they're trying to dump all this loose crap that they have and uh, get that out there now and hopefully try to get people to buy that up for this 20 for uh, 20 car mail in. I don't know. Um, I'm hoping they switch the end caps. And I'm hoping they dump new cases. Every one of my targets have been holding out for the last like three weeks and only stuff that I've seen even this weekend was 2023 cars. So uh, Target is definitely trying to dump their old inventory. Hopefully this week we will see the bins change. They should be the black bins with the car and the QR code on them. And then hopefully we'll see a bunch of new cases. M MNPs have all been dropping uh, online. So we have seen all the treasure hunts for the end of the year. Some 2025s have already dropped. So pay attention because Target may be getting some really, really new stuff in or they're about to jump, drop a lot of very old crap. All right. With that, let's talk about my mail call. So I have two official mail items from Mattel and then I had a care package from home. My care package from home actually has some of the cooler uh, cars in it this year. So it is the... 2024 Halloween sets. Here's the full set of five. Uh, go through them real quick. Number one of five is the Mad Fast. It is this black and white with this orange hood. And I like the skull wheels on the back of that. That's actually really cool. But that's your Mad Fast. That's number one of five. Number two of five is the Barbaric. Uh, also kind of cool. It's kind of got this uh, wolf Wolf drawing with, for whatever reason, the hood scoop. Or the hood rain, I don't understand that one. But uh, also with the, uh, what looked to be red chrome skull wheels. Actually, I think that one's really, really cool. Three of five is the Chevy Impala. Now this one out of all of them, I like the best. Um, it has this almost um, kind of hearse looking but it's got a pumpkin in the decal. It's got gold skull wheels. It's got little fangs or uh, like little bat ears on the back. That is really cool. I really, really like that one actually. Uh, four of five is the Muscle Bound. Uh, orange 31 Halloween, October 31st. It's got gray and black skull wheels. The pumpkin logo on the back corner. Again, I actually like this one. I like the color scheme. I like the, the car. Last but not least, five of five is the Street Shaker. This one has the worst card of them all, but green chrome, pumpkin on the back. These hit Michigan uh, last week. 
My mom was out shopping, found them, said, well, hey, the dogs are getting treats, so here comes some Hot Wheels. So that is the first of our mail away. Next mail in, uh, most of you have seen this already. Everyone's already got theirs. Mine came a little late, uh, and I just decided I wasn't going to do this video until the end of the weekend. But uh, the Redline Collector Club, it is the uh, GMC Typhoon. I like this car. Um, the fact, the black on black, I like the rims on it. Um, it has this old station wagon kind of feel to it, like <laughs> my grandma used to have when we were kids. Um, I only bought one of them. I thought about buying multiples, but I was like, I really don't need multiples. Oh, bro, please tell me that's just the Protect, though. Oh, thank goodness. Okay, so the car and the bubble in the car is in great shape. The Protec looks like somebody drop kicked the living squat out of it. As usual, Mattel special. Um, I actually think I have a couple extra of these, so I will just replace the Protec later. But uh, that is what it's supposed to do. It's supposed to protect the car. I mean, you can see the, how the box came. I mean, the box is completely smashed. Somebody from the post office probably drop kicked the squat out of it. I don't know. Um. But yeah, so that was one mail call. That is mail call number two. And mail call number three. Now this box, I was not expecting to be this big. Um, I don't know what I had in mind when I saw these in the photo, but this is not what I was expecting. I mean, look, dude, this thing's like huge. 27 by 18 by six and a half. All right, most of you should know what this is. If you don't, well, we're gonna show you. Um, I bought two of these. I think the limit on them was five. I didn't need five. I didn't really need two. But this is one of those sets that I wanted to keep as a backup. I'll see. They package these really well. All right. I wish they would do that with all. Okay. Even that is still bigger than I expected. So, it contains one piece. I'm going to leave one completely sealed. I'll have this one opened. I've seen someone pull this out and do the full-on display with it, and I was nerding out, to say the least. Long live the bat. Really well packed. I wish Mattel would take as much time and care in all the items they pack and shipped. I mean, look, they put full-on corner protectors on this thing. It's wrapped in tissue. It's got a bottom protector. I mean, well protected, but well, well protected. <laughs> Eighty-five years of Batman. The giant bat symbol. The Batmobile is more than part of a cinematic and comic history. It is part of a global culture and phenomenon. From young to old the, and country to country, the Batmobile is one of the most recognizable vehicles ever created. As the Batman character changed with time, so did the Batmobile. Known for its sleek designs, high-tech crime-fighting gadgets, and immense power, it has played a pivotal role in the comic's popularity as it navigated the streets of Gotham City. Much is unknown about the future, but one thing is for certain is the Batmobile will remain a consistent. A constant, excuse me. Now they didn't tape this, which was really... Oh. Oh. I thought this was like going to maybe be two pieces, but it's not. So we've got the 1966 Batman. Uh, it says 1966, Batman 1966, considered the one true Batmobile. The sleek ride was a concept car purchased for $1. Its transformation turned into one of the most iconic cars in history. That is said Batman there. That is the Barris Batmobile. Again, if you don't know the history about this, are you really a Batman fan? Um... Barris, George Barris bought this for a dollar. It was a Corvette concept, or was a Cadillac concept, uh, that they didn't want anything to, they really didn't want to bring to market. He bought it, tweaked it. It is the Batmobile. 
1989. Batman 89. The Batmobile set the tone for the dark and serious nature of the Batman we have come to know. The longest Batmobile in fleet. It comes in nearly 20 feet long. That is our... 1989 Batmobile. This, of course, is the Michael Keaton Batmobile. This, of course, Adam West. 92 animated series. The animated series Batmobile opened the doors of possibilities of what Dark Knight's Batmobile can do. Outlined with several gadgets and cool modifications from dispensing oil and tear gas, wheel slashing hubcaps, rooftop missile rack, and ejector seats. And that's just part of it. This, of course, was Kevin Conroy's Batman uh, for Batman animated series. Batman Forever, which is, once again, the Batmobile took a new look, designed to resemble a flying bat. This version took on more toy etic look with a custom chassis and powerful 350ZZ3 engine. So if I recall, Batman Forever was... Um, Batman Forever, that had uh, Mr. Freeze, right? So that's George Clooney's Batmo Batmobile. Batman Begins... Uh, built like a tank and known as the Tumbler, this version of the Batmobile grabbed everyone's attention. It had custom chassis and a 500 horsepower V8 engine. Of course, Christian Bale's Batman. And then 22, the Batman. The most powerful Batmobile in history is capable of 700 horsepower. A rear-mounted engine and wide-body exterior style provided a more intimidating look, while roll cages were added for extra protection during stunts. And that, of course, is the uh, Patterson Batman Batmobile. I like how each one comes with a very miniature version of Batman. Kind of Jada Toys-like, but... Oh, that is so sick. They used all the classic colors. I mean, they it did... These are almost like the premium Batmobiles. I mean, you can see in here where they actually did the color highlights to, like, the engine parts on the 90 Batmobile. Same with the animated... Like, every single one of these have the actual intricate details done on the cars. Uh, I'm trying to see. And it's hard to tell in this package. But at least a few of these look like they've got real riders on them. The tumbler definitely does. Oh, dude. They even put in... Okay. And that's going to be impossible to see in here. But they actually put on the uh, Bat logo on the hubs for the Batman Forever. Uh, it actually has the blue interior lights on the front. Oh, God, that is just so good looking. I love the artwork on the back. So you can see the Adam West Batman. You've got the original Penguin, Julie Newmar as Catwoman. Adam West as Batman there. You've got Jack Nicholson's Joker with uh, Michael Keaton. You've got the animated Harley Quinn. You know, the first appearance of Harley Quinn in the comic books came from the animated series Mr. Freeze, Poison Ivy. You've got Two-Face in this one. Really, really cool. You've got... Um, the hell is his name? I, I know it's Raz Al Ghul, but what was the actor? Um, I can't think of the actor. And then you've got uh, Scarecrow... And then for the Batman Batman, which is very interesting. You actually have um, Penguin, Catwoman, and that's uh, Colin Farrell's Penguin. So, very interested. Uh, the Batman, speaking of Colin Farrell's Penguin, uh, the Batman is coming back to theaters in September uh, to pre-launch the Penguin TV series. Um, gosh, sick box set. I'm going to figure out how to display this in the room. If you guys have seen my uh, walkthrough of my private collection, you've seen that the entire top left corner of my uh, VR room is all Batmobiles. It is all my different Batmobiles and Batmans. Um, I've ran out of space for Batmobiles. I've collected like three or four more Batmobiles and I just don't know where in the hell I'm going to put this. Um, but I sidetracked. The Chris or um Patterson, I can't think of his first name. Uh, Patterson's Batman, The Batman, will be re-released in theaters at the end of September. At the end of the show, maybe at the beginning, 
they are going to do a preview of Colin Farrell's Penguin TV series that's coming out. Now, as of recently, I just went through and watched all of Gotham. Um, reason for it was, one, I was bored. Two, I never finished the series. And something had... Oh, they were talking about the Penguin. So I was like, okay, I'm going to watch this just to kind of see things. Um, so I finished up the entire Gotham TV series. And I actually was quite impressed with it. Then I was like, okay, well, you know, what else? Batman, there's still the Pennywise show. Um, I went through most of HBO's Harley Quinn. I got through, I think, three of the four or five seasons. It was really good to begin with. And then they just started getting absolutely crazy. Uh, Kelly, how do you say her name? Caraco, Kakao, whatever. Um, I think she actually did a pretty decent voice of Harley Quinn. And I think she portrayed the character fairly well. Um, Hearing her swear as much as she did was crazy, especially considering how much in Big Bang Theory they didn't swear at all. But, so if you haven't seen Gotham, go see Gotham. I think they did a great job of of intertwining all the different Batmans throughout the years. There was a lot of things taken from Batman animated series. There was a lot of things taken from the old, like, 66 Batman. Like, they did a great job of trying to push as much of the uh, Batman lore into that TV series. And at the very end of it, um, they kind of take you into the Batman for, you know, uh, when he become when Bruce Wayne finally does the first years being Batman. Then you had Patterson's Batman, uh, into the timeline. There's supposed to be a sequel. Um, there's supposed to be a sequel to that Batman coming out soon. Then of course the Penguin TV series now coming out with Colin Farrell as the Penguin. So I'm probably going to go rewatch the Batman just to, uh, get myself prepped for Colin Farrell's. Uh, rendition and the Penguin TV series, and then we will, uh, I don't know, we'll see what happens. But that is my mail call for this week. Like I said, there were nothing uh, out shopping. I've hit three targets today. I've been hitting target all week just because I was hoping that they were going to drop the uh, dump bin for the Buy 20 promo early. They did not. Um, all the publics here have either stocked with uh, some old like late p2023 cases or a stack of the uh e case that has the batmobile treasure hunt in it i mean for whatever reason like all this old inventory is just getting dumped on us right now so i don't know if maybe the distribution was just really really bad what happened entertainment earth does have full sealed factory cases for sale right now uh they got miscellaneous series they do them by number they don't do them by case and i think really it's because they don't pay attention to it and i'm not going to be shocked if i place a couple orders for full cases and get like a and b cases so uh we will see what entertainment earth ships me i'm going to place that order next friday um but with that yeah hopefully this week we'll start seeing some more hits most of the publics are full stock right now they don't have any room for any more hot wheels so it's going to be at least a few more weeks before I start to see Publix getting hits. Targets have been bare, except for, again, the last three targets I went to today all have 2023 20, cases. So I think they're getting prepped for the buy 20 promo and just dumping all their old stock. So we will see how that goes. Um, I'm not expecting Target to get any Hot Wheels now for at least a month, just because of the way they ship them. And Walmart's been out of inventory since, I mean, all summer. So. Yeah, that's it. Um, I'm going to kill the video as always, but thanks for joining to check out the unboxing. I will let you know where I figure out where to put this on the wall. I may have to 3D print myself some shelves and put them up because I don't have any shelves uh, that's going to fit this. So we may be running the 3D printers today. Cool. Other than that, guys, hopefully you got your, uh, hopefully you got your typhoons in. This was a nice looking car. I like it. And then the Halloween series. I think this year's Halloween series were pretty decent. I'm bummed they didn't do glow in the dark like they did last year, but uh, it is what it is. I'm gonna get those thrown up in protectors and stuffed in the closet to uh, hang out because I just don't have space on the wall anymore. I mean, I'm out of space for some of the treasure hunts I found. I've gotten to the point where I'm stacking treasure hunts on top of treasure hunts in my closet. I think we're gonna need to do another yard sale of Hot Wheels. Okay, with that, as always, like, share, follow. And again, if you're in the mood to Watch me go off on some of the guys in the Facebook Hot Wheel Collector groups. Go check out the other video I'm about to post.